I'm gonna get this out the way early on. Chili's so hot right now. There you go, dad joke done and dusted. But it's not just the heat I'm talking about. These little beauties are going through the roof as far as popularity goes. So I'm off to meet a guy who's passionate about growing these fiery little fruits. Hello, Neil, how are you? G'day, Charlie. Mate, when it comes to chilies, you're the man. Is that right? Oh, I grow chilies, yeah. <laughs> There's a few of them. <laughs> I've had a look life. around. Every single one of these plants is a different variety of chili. Correct. Yeah, so you're growing them for seed, is that right? Yeah, yeah, run a seed company. Yeah. Okay. So chilies come from all over the world. Yes. Right? So you get a huge variety. Yes. Yes, and you seem to have a lot of them here. Uh, well, there's, I think, over three and a half thousand varieties in the world. Mm -hmm. I grow around 500. Right. Now, most people, when they think of chilies, they think heat, horrible, blowing your head off. Yes. That's not true, is it? No, 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 no. You can get chilies that are as hot as capsicums. Is there a scale? Yeah, the Scoville scale. Scoville scale that goes yeah. from zero, zero to... Zero to... And the Guinness record holder is about 1.5 million. It's a bit much for me, I think. Now, your plants here, um, they don't have any chilies on at the moment because you've grown them from seed. Does that mean that they'll put yeah. on chilies later on than, say, buying a plant from a nursery? Uh, it depends when you start them. Okay. I start these sort of at the start of spring yep. rather than starting them too early inside. Okay. So they will take longer, but they take between 100 to 120 days to get to full maturity and so then start producing. So from seed to full maturity, 120 About days? Roughly, depending on the variety. So it really is much better to grow them from seed and wait a little bit longer for the, for the fruit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, okay. definitely. But hey, you can go and buy them from the shops, no worries. Mm. They will still grow. Well, Neil, I've learned so much from you. Fantastic, thank you very much. I'm off to pot up some plants and maybe put some seeds down. Excellent idea. I found it really interesting that Neil gets better success and more fruit from his chilies when he plants them from seeds. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. I've got some of Neil's seeds here. Now I just use one of these and I soak them in water so they get all swollen like this. Now this is great because it holds on to the moisture. I'm just going to put two seeds in the top of each one and make sure they stay nice and moist by topping up the tray rather than the pellet itself and it really is as simple as that. The next option is just with a pot like this. Now, I've filled this with seed raising mix, and I'm actually gonna put one, two, three, four of this chili in. Now, this is blue Christmas, and four in here as well. Now, chilies are really strange in the way that they like competition, so by putting four in rather than just one, they're gonna germinate quicker, and they're gonna get bigger quicker. I'm just gonna to top it up with some vermiculite over the top, just a thin layer, and what that does is it's just a little bit easier for the seeds to germinate through, but it locks the moisture in. Once I've done all of these, I'll give it a good soak. And like Neil said, in about 120 days, your seeds will have germinated, will have grown and start giving you fruit. But if you can't wait that long, you can simply pot up some seedlings. I'm using quite a large pot for my chilies, and I'm starting it off with this basket of fire, just because I love the look, not for the actual taste. I'm going for a variety of chilies. These ones, this is the pot black and the purple tiger, they're really quite mild. They're about one or two on the scale. But then I'm also planting some ones with real heat, like this firecracker and Jay's red, which says extreme on it. Now, chilies don't just have to be about the heat. I'm even going for this lovely little purple one, just for the fact that it's nice and ornamental. Chilies like really free-draining soil, so they're perfect for potting mix. Just make sure you get the best you can afford. Now, I've soaked these first so they're nice and moist, and I'm not going to disturb the roots because chilies don't like too much root disturbance. You don't want anything that's pot-bound. This has got plenty of potting mix showing through, so I'm not too concerned about it. It really is as simple as popping it in the pot, making a bit of a mess, and then backfilling and gently pressing down. Now, the bowl of fire is at the back, and I'll be placing the smaller ones around the front. Because chilies are so fast growing and they do a lot of fruiting, you need to support that growth with some food. Something like a liquid is perfect. Now, this stuff is great. It's got lots of nitrogen in it. It's got potash for the fruit as well. I apply my liquid 
as per the label because this needs four and a half capfuls for nine liters. If you put more in, you're just gonna waste it. Your plants aren't gonna grow any quicker. Having a liquid is great because it's instantly taken up by the plants and I apply it every week, maybe every 10 days. Now, I know what you're thinking. Do I have the guts to try a chili? And I'm not great with heat, but you know, why not? This is a bird's eye. This is quite hot, so I've been told. <laughs> that one got me. Oh! I did it. That one did it. <laughs> <laughs>